Now let's learn how to write macros in Racket. First example that I want to write is uh, this where we're adding two numbers together. So very simple and looks very similar to a regular function, right? You just say, oh, I want to add two numbers together. And what this is saying is return an AST node that is adding, you know, the addition function call of plus with X and Y. Okay. So this is very similar to writing, um, uh, sorry, D, D apply of a D variable X list D variable X and D variable Y. Okay. So this does not mean computing. This means generate code. Okay. It's very important. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to show an example why this is important. So, but in the easiest case, which is this test case, um, it just means because I'm replacing the way you can understand this is when the macro system works, it replaces um, at XY by this code. So if I can copy paste it, where X is one and Y is two. Okay, so obviously this expands to addition, which returns nine. So if I run this, let me just require rack unit. It passes as, as expected. Okay. But now what happens if I do this define F. Okay. And now in my F, I want to do my function. I want to write display LN. And I want it to print out a little bank and I want it to return three. Okay. I'm actually going to call this three. three. Okay. And now I'm going to call this. Okay. Returns three and prints out the exclamation mark. Uh, and now what happens if I do add, if I do add plus, um, what do I want to do? Oh, okay. What happens if I do this? Ah, okay. I know what I want to do. Uh, okay. So if I do add three and three together, I should expect to see two banks and six, right? Uh, and that's indeed what happens. Okay. So now instead of writing this racket rule, this macro, uh, let's say I do, let's call it, um, twice. Okay. And what I do is I add X and X together. So this would be, oops, this is plus. It's also plus. And this is plus. Okay. If I do uh, twice, I can write, it doesn't need to be necessarily in caps lock, right? Uh, or uh, it could be in lowercase as well. So just to make it a bit more obvious. So if I write uh, twice one, I should see two. Okay. So I can even write a check equal to make sure it's two. Okay. And next what I can do is, so what happens if I do twice of um, three? So I'm expecting the results to be what? Well, two times three should be six. Okay. So let's make sure that's the case. Okay. And yes, it is the case, but now notice what happened. I actually, it actually printed bang twice. Is this clear why? Maybe not. Let's create a function. Uh, define twice, right? Where I pass X and what I do is X plus X. Okay. Well, this is a normal function. Uh, and now what I want to do is check equal. And I write twice of three and I expect it to be six as well. Oops, parenthesis missing. Okay, so it only printed out one bang and 
when I called twice, it printed out two banks. Let's think why, why carefully. So what happens is this is a regular function application, which means before you actually evaluate the body, you have to evaluate the function call three, uh, which means this becomes, this is the same as uh, writing define x uh, to be three, right? And then you call check equal um, twice of x, right? Six, uh, and then, which is the same as check equal plus xx, right? Which is the same as doing, let me write all the steps. So you have this expression, right? Oops. You have this expression, which becomes um, three, right? And prints out exclamation mark, and this becomes uh, plus three, three, which becomes six, right? That's what happens when I run uh, twice three. Okay, but what happens with the macro? Well, with the macro, what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the code. So it's going to use what x is not evaluated. The parameter of the macro is not evaluated. So it's just code. So it's code of calling a function three. So Next, what I'm going to do, according to the, the macro, I'm going to generate this. Okay, so I'm going to generate this. Uh, and x is the parameter. So the parameter was this, was calling three. So it becomes this, right? Which then is a regular function call, right? So what the function call is going to do, it's going to evaluate first this expression, right? Which returns three, and then you have three which is why, oops, let me make this the same notation, which is why you get the ex, the first exclamation mark. And then you do three and you evaluate the second three, you get another three and you get another bank because this has to compute again, right? So what it means is that this expression is not evaluated and is copy pasted, if you will. Uh, and because you did uh, X plus X, you will have the same parameter, so the same AST being copy pasted twice. Okay, and this is a problem because if you have side effects, as you can see from the banks, you will they will run twice. So when you're designing a macro, you must be very careful in when you're reusing parameters of the macro. So a solution to this problem is um, you would write define. I wonder if you can just do this. Actually, I don't remember by heart. I think I have um, an example. Ah, you have to do a let. Or you, you pass a lambda, right? So essentially you have to enforce um, the evaluation and the way we know how to enforce is by creating a lambda and passing the argument to it. Um, alternatively, you can use this let, which is just a way to uh, define a variable. I wonder if you can do a define. Let me see what happens. I don't think that works though. Okay, F and F. Oh no, three. Three and three. I don't think that works. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, you can't you can define it this way. So you have to do that trick where you do let uh, and then you do ZX. OK. 
and then you do this, and then you do this. Did I write it? Let parentheses let What did I do wrong? Let me see. Let Z Z is this. And then I return. Seems fine by me. Is it the syntax? Let me see it again. Twice does not use pattern match one. Is it the name? I don't think it's a name. Okay, it's certainly not the name. So twice one. It is saying pattern. Ah, silly. Okay, so I wonder if the define works. Let's do define z x. Yeah, define doesn't work. I was trying to say, but let does work. But you do have to call the the macro. What was happening is that the macro only expects one parameter. I was passing it two, which is what record was complaining about. Okay, so this works. You cannot use a define basically. Um, so this slide summarizes the exam exercise I was doing. Um, so uh, in the next video, I want us to. Uh, think a bit about how we could use macros, a macro system to control evaluation.